This is Andy Whittle from HowEFIWorks.com, and today I'd like to demonstrate loading data logs into MLV HD. So what I'd like to do is open Mega Log Viewer. I have a shortcut on my desktop. Open it up. This is a fresh install of Mega Log Viewer. If I make it larger in the bottom left corner, you can see where it's registered to me. If you do not see that in the bottom left corner, uh, you probably have to go to the website or register your software. If you have a pro version of the MS3 series of ECUs, you do have a license for, I believe, Megalog Viewer uh, MS. So now, what I'd like you to do to start is go to Help and check for updates now. If you just downloaded the software off the internet, uh, it's probably up to date. If not, if you got it on a USB stick, it will probably update. Hit OK and OK. Mine is up to date. So file, open. By default, it'll go to your documents folder. I want to, you want to come down to Tuner Studio Projects and pick your project. I happen to be working today on a car I tune. Uh, under that directory, you'll see data logs, and that's where the data logs will reside. And I'm going to come down to session four, open, and the software loads up, or the, the log loads up. I typically shrink down in the lower left corner, you'll see these arrow up and arrow down. This is this area that has the gauges. I normally shrink that down to give a little more real estate. So now, what I have is the log is loaded up. In the upper left corner, the first graph from, from the top to this point shows RPM, manifold air pressure, and TPS. You notice in his case, TPS is a solid straight line. Uh, that is because this particular car does not run a TPS. So I'm going to hit the tag down and hit the space bar, and that makes that go away. The next one down is AFR. As you can see here is the AFR. It is flatline as it just started, and the white band is not online yet. I have coolant in the third graph, and I'm going to go to manifold air temperature. If I hit the arrow down key, I start zooming out. And you can see the coolant coming up and the manifold air temperature coming down. As he went on to track, you can see his max RPM is 7,900 in this log. And it started a minimum of 250 RPM. At this point, most everything is auto scaled. But I like to set scaling. The easiest way to do that is go to Calculated Fields, Min and Max Editor, and you can see all the different things that are auto scale are fixed. In my case, the AFR, I'd like to take AFR and shift and tag the second one down, which is the AFR target, and turn off auto scale, which is right here. Turn off auto scale on those. And I'm going to go from about 11 AFR, which is about the richest I'd want to run this motor, up to about 16, where you can see it's running extremely lean. We'll hit save, and that rescales the AFR for you. At this point, I'd like to go to the calculated fields, hit the tag down, and optional fields. And typically, I will turn on duty cycle 1. The answer for most installs is 0.5 for this question. And it's asking, would you like to reload the log? Yes. So now that the log is reloaded, I can zoom out with the arrow down key. And we can see the entire three or four laps at the racetrack. If you notice down in the bottom left corner is a little blue bar. What that indicates is where you are in the log, the vertical line. 
I can grab that with a left mouse click and slide that to anywhere I want in the log. And you will see on any given graph, the minimum and maximum, well, the actual current reading, that happens to be 5695 RPM. You can see in the far right is the RPM and map, where RPM is the white trace, and red is manifold air pressure. Other things I can do is you notice we have room for more on this particular computer. It depends a little bit on your resolution of your computer. So I'm going to go to View and Max Number of Graphs. Right now it's set at four. I'm going to go up to six, and it's asking me if I want to reload. Sure. I'll go ahead and reload. And we now have available to us six graphs. So now that the log is reloaded, you can see that I have the ability to do up to six graphs. Since I only have fields chosen for four of the graphs, it's only showing four. But if I want to add some other field, such as barrel pressure, and there it is right there, showing a fairly constant 98.8, which is correct at this altitude. A feature that's awful handy if you get the HD version of the software is you can also get the scaling right here to the right of any field. You can hit the tag down or the three bars, and you can do things like smoothing, or you can go down and turn it off of auto scale and set your scale to whatever you want. Pulse width might be from 0 to 18 milliseconds, and it automatically reset the scale at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and set the pulse width back to something more reasonable on this car. And there you can see my white trace bar pulse width is a little more to scale. Other things I'd like to turn on under calculated fields, optional fields, and come down to map times RPM. I use the one with no spaces, and it wants to know if I would like to reload. Sure. Another thing I'd like to show you is the tuning console. If you're using a MS version AECU, you can bring in the tuning console, which is view, show, the tuning console. Here it is right here on the top right corner now. And it says you can open a tune. So I'm going to open the tune. And we are on Chucks. And I'm going to sort by date and grab one of the late, late tunes. This is the one I used for session five, for example. Open. And now we have the tune on the right side. So you can see at any given point where in the tune you were, where I've got the VE table at the top and I have the ignition table at the bottom. I can also go under the right mouse click and go to a map times RPM and let's jump to the maximum map times RPM we had, which is the max power we were using in this particular tune. And you can see where we were in the tuning console. I can also hit control P for play, and you can see the motor running at real time. Control S stops. Another feature we have available to us is scatter plots. In a later video, I will show you how to use the tuning console and actually use this for VE analysis on motors that are race cars that do not have the, uh, the option of taking a laptop along with them for auto tuning, what we'll do is, is do tuning after the run, back when we get back to the pits, and we'll use this feature to analyze the VE table. Another thing you need to know about Mega Log Viewer is it does save your configuration as you exit the program. So anytime you get out, and come back in, 
it will remember the directory where you loaded your tune from or a log from. Open. We are back to the Chuck data log directory and I can bring open any log. Another nice feature of this is I can open multiple logs at a time. File open, sort by date, bring the last ones to the top. And if I want to bring in session six, or session six through session one, all simultaneously, I can. This is a lot of data to bring in. You can see the blue bar at the bottom as it loads each each data log into the program. And this may take, oh, a fair amount of time to do depending on the size of your computer. But now that I have the four data logs loaded, I can go to scatter plots and see my average AFR. Basically, I'm looking at RPM along the bottom. In this particular case, you can see that I ran about 8,000 RPM, maybe 300 RPM maximum. And in this case, the motor seldom runs below 2200 RPM. I can zoom in by highlighting the upper left corner, coming down to the bottom right, letting go, it zooms in. And you can see areas that I apparently have a lean condition. Right here is all red, which corresponds to 16 AFR. That's definitely a problem. But for the most part, I'm in the greenish area of about 13 AFR. If you highlight any one area, you can see the average in that area. We'll get more into this later. So thank you for watching.